Good evening, dear friends. So, as always, On Air is Friday, and our weekly TV show about the most important things. So, what awaits us today? First of all, a very interesting situation has arisen. As it turns out, many people are watching this all without a subscription, so to speak, illegally. Illegally and okay. I'm giving you another chance to subscribe. Just subscribe once and everything is with a clear conscience. Although, of course, if there is no shame, let at least their own conscience. Listen a little, subscribe once, and it's fine. Without any remorse, keep watching. That's it, let's go. That's all. All right, I'll believe that you've signed up. So, as usual, we leave comments, hit the like button, get closer to our YouTube devices, and let's go. What awaits us today? Look, we have such a drawing here. These are the back muscles. We have two muscles. The rhomboid muscle, it is indicated here almost as it really is. And above all this is covered by a powerful, very trapezius muscle, which we usually divide into parts. These are the upper, middle, and lower trapezius. Very often, back pain occurs in this area between the shoulder blades in the thoracic model of the spine. In most people, it occurs after doing something with their hands for a long time, after some physical exertion. It also often happens while sitting, after bending over to do something for a long time, for example, reading some scientific literature, or for instance, having to watch a series not on TV, but, say, on a phone. Also a bad situation. Then pain follows. Why? Here we have two muscles, as we already know. This is the trapezius muscle, more powerful, and underneath it is the rhomboid muscle. The work of the middle part of the trapezius and the rhomboid is very similar. If we tense them together, right now, simultaneously, then our shoulder blades will go back here, and both the rhomboid muscle and the trapezius worked immediately. But the trapezius muscle should be much stronger than the rhomboid. The rhomboid is small, thin. If you take the rhomboid muscle like this, put it on a plate, even if you eat it, you won't even realize, won't feel that you've eaten it, that you've drunk some water. But if, for example, the trapezius, this is a more powerful muscle, you might even get a little out of breath if you eat the whole trapezius in one go. I'm saying, for example, if we take a lamb or someone else, well, it doesn't matter. So, it turns out animals have the same muscles. Well, I knew. You didn't know. It turns out they are called the same for you. They perform the same functions. So, what happens? Very often, the trapezoid becomes small, thin. This is because it's barely used in life. You only use it for stabilization. It only performs some static load both the upper and the middle during arm movements, but it hardly works in dynamics. So a very large difference develops between the chest muscles, which usually work in dynamics. That is, we reach somewhere, take something, pick something up, take something away from someone, push someone, who, for example, wants to take back what we took. And therefore our chest muscles are quite well developed but the trapezius is not as well developed as the chest muscles. And according to the latest data from the Schumer-Linsky Trapezius Research Institute, the trapezius takes on 85.6% of the load. The effort that we make during movements, during the retraction of the shoulder blades, and the rhomboid muscle only takes the remaining 11.34%. Where you might ask are the rest. The rest, whatever is there, is roughly around 2.43%. 0.004%. This percentage signifies the power of spirit. That's it. So, the trapezius is doing the maximum effort. Compared to it, the rhomboid takes on much less. Its function, so to speak, is more of a precise movement. That is, it makes the work of the blades smoother. At the moment when they have already converged for us, it can also support the trapezoid, but it does not perform the main function. And what happens? When our trapezium decreases in volume, 
it weakens. This is where the percentage ratio begins to change. Even if it has changed, say, from 53% to 50%. For instance, such a shift has occurred. There you go. There you go. There you go. And it can't handle the current load because it's skeptical about Strengthen myeloid muscles. Prescribe. So that we can move with our hands and it tightens itself. The head starts to hurt. But now our task is to talk about this. And so we need to return to the ideal ratios. From this, how to increase the percentage of trapezius work for this. There is a special exercise developed by trapeziologists, specially made for this rubber band. Not necessarily such any rubber band that you can stretch even from underwear. If no other rubber band is also suitable for the start. The main thing is that the load is a little felt such rubber bands also so take a rubber band in your hands such a rubber band is also good the main thing is that it stretches well and we will have several groups of exercises specifically on the trapezius muscle and so the first exercise will be like this for it such a rubber band will do take your hands thread like this as if in handcuffs you remember how handcuffs were so put on and start spreading your hands to the sides but your task here, look from the center of the amplitude, is not big need to make such an amplitude that at the level of the shoulder, your brush turned out to be on the same line with the shoulder. This is tough. You need thinner. Too tough for this exercise, but for your sake, I will show on it too. It turns out at the level of the shoulder, we make a spreading movement there. We stop in these movements we do quite often. Now our task is After all, my hands are now below the shoulder. This is the movement I am making like this consortia. The own lion's now hands slightly above the shoulder. Do the same thing. Make the same movement at the same level with the shoulder. Now slightly above the shoulder. At eye level, the same thing here. The rubber band, once again, I repeat. Should be easily stretchable for you so that the muscles do not get too tired. That is, this is such a so-called pumping so that the blood just came there finally from somewhere else. Diana, you have accumulated. Diana, you have bad blood, so to speak, dispersed. And you can do the same movement like this in general. The first slightly below the shoulder, the second at the level of the shoulder, at the level of the collarbones, and three at the level of the eyes. We make these three movements after each. You can rest a little if you are tired, if you are not tired all at once, we can do even. 20 each movement after this, we rest, but not long. 30, 40 seconds maximum, and we start doing the main exercise with you. We take a rubber band, and now similar movements we start doing in full amplitude. We start stretching, stretching, we start the rubber band. Here when your hands are spread apart, you bring your shoulder blades together, hold. In such a tense state for a second. Two, three, and back, relax again. Spread and back, such situations may arise. But do not lose your head back carefully. All the main thing is back and back. By the way, who doesn't know? There are bells on YouTube if you press. You will immediately know that a new video has come out and you will watch fresh ones, not some there two, three days, not up to days, 
of old or a week at all. Mist, do not know. Straight fresh. Just came out still warm look. Also rested, and the next movement we are already doing again as the previous ones. Shoulder at the level of the collarbone spreads out here. You can hold like this. You can hold like this. Yes, it's already as convenient for you. There is no difference, that is. As convenient, you can take like this. You look at how your hands grow from where it depends on. That is at the level of the elbow, not the elbow, collarbone, shoulder, too. Why forgot the words because the blood came into the trapezius here and now at eye level? When at eye level we do here, there were no problems. Yes, but now look at eye level. We start to disconnect. We pull here about and back. Like this tired two on. I'll pretend as if I'm not tired. Because these are quite stiff rubber bands. Better to start with more such light ones. And in this way, all these exercises you did. Now we trained the middle trapezius with you and a little bit on the lower one too. And in this way, we unloaded the rhomboid muscle with you. So here is such a paradox. It turns out we feel tension between the shoulder blades. We give there even more tension. For some reason it passes. Why if carefully? Understand with not carefully, look again. Well, okay. All, let's write likes, put comments, do. Sports help parents.